Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand an important concept that is why hyperpigmentation happens in Addison's disease. This is one of the most common question asked in Vivas. So let's try to understand it. First thing is what is Addison's disease? Addison's disease is nothing but there is an adrenocortical insufficiency. Both the adrenal mineralocorticoids as well as the glucocorticoids are reduced. Out of this, the most important component that is the cortisol is also reduced. Whenever the levels of cortisol is reduced, what happens is there is no negative feedback inhibition to the ACTH that is adrenocorticotropic hormone. So the levels of ACTH pumps up high that is the levels of ACTH goes up so high. This ACTH has a special property which is it acts like a melanocyte stimulating activity there is some melanocyte stimulating activity. It acts on a specific receptors called as melanocortin receptors which is melanocortin 1R receptors that is melanocortin receptors. Because of this action the melanocytes are getting stimulated so there will be hyperpigmentation. There is a melanocyte stimulation leading on to the hyperpigmentation. This is the reason and some other reason quoted are since there is no negative feedback inhibition, the precursors of ACTH that is components like POMC that is pro-opio-melanocortin itself is raised. This POMC is usually divided into MSH and beta lipoprotein and ACTH. This MSH is nothing but melanocyte stimulating hormone. So otherwise also there is raised pigmentation because of this POMC increase. So both the reasons are valid and both the reasons are the causes for hyperpigmentation in Addison's disease. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. We'll see in the next video. Thank you.